I am the vine. Now please picture it. I hope these words, do have an idea of words, they're supposed to create like a picture or a concept. When someone is trying to explain, they're trying to draw like a picture or a concept, something for you to understand. They're trying to give you images. So he goes, this is Jesus' image. I am the vine. You are the branch. See a vine? See a branch? Connect to the vine. Can we see this? Say amen. amen. Whoever lives in me, amen, and I in him bears much abundant fruit. However, apart from me, cut off from vital union with me, you can do nothing. So in order to bear anything, it depends on we, the branch, you understand? Stay connected to what? The vine. The vine. Yes. And I'll say it different. It depends on we, you understand? The children of God stay connected to our source. To our source. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. You know, I was reading something in Dr. Mal's book, and he goes, human being, in fact, everything that created go through three phases. The first one is called dependency. When a, when a, when a fruit is connected to the, the branch, you understand? It's dependent on its source, the tree, to give it nutrients so it can become ripened. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. When an embryo is in a woman, uh, 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 its mother tummy, it depends on the umbilical cord and the mother to give it the nutrients to grow, to become a baby. This process is called dependency. Meaning, the created thing is dependent on its source. We are created, you know, made in God's image, then formed, then bred and breed upon. So, in order for us to be effective, to get to the next level, we have to depend on what? The source. What happens if the fruit, before it's ripened, pull away from the vine? What happened with it? It dies. It did not get developed. What happened if the baby, why if it's the embryo, before it becomes a child, a fetus, you understand? It come out. It's what's called abort or abortion. The baby dies. So you have to stay in that state of dependency until the fruit ripens. But notice, it's a natural law. When the fruit is ripened, it naturally what? Falls away. So this process is called dependency. The second, when the fruit now is ripened and ready to start its life to become a tree, to drop to the ground, you understand? Mm -hmm. And then grow itself to become a tree or to feed or to, or to do something, this process is called independence or independency. When the fruit fall away from, you understand, the tree, its source, the child comes out of the mother tummy, the child becomes an individual entity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? This process is called, so you go from dependency to independence. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. There's a whole different story, what, what are you independent to do? Mm -hmm. A man greatly abused this process. Yes. Most people think independent, that means I'm free to do what I want, where I want, go, you know, don't take no risk. No, that tree, that fruit that follows, either becomes fruit or start now the business, the cooperate business of becoming a tree like it's what? source. Do you understand? Yes. So it doesn't fall away and go, now I'll become a fish, now I'll go dance, now I'll do... No. It now incorporates into the family what? Business, into what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So when you move from dependency into independency, it's independent to participate in the cooperate function or direction, that whatsoever species or thing you are. You don't see the tree trying to be a cow. This is violation and trespass and transgression. And this is where man abuse independency. I am free to do what I want. Not to, not to do what my mother was doing or my father was doing or God was doing or my savior. You know, I'm free to go here and go there and do this and do that. That's not what independency is about. Mm. It means I now have all the necessary you understand, requirement mm -hmm. amen, from that which I was dependent upon you understand, to now be like that which I was dependent upon. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Mm. Be very clear what independency is about. We abuse it terribly. Terribly. And from independency, you understand, we go to the next step, you understand, which is interdependency, which you start to cooperate. You understand? You are now strong enough to, part to participate with the species, with the outlook, with the projection, you understand, of that which you come from. In the human sense, I now can be part, I'm now capable, because I have independence, I have all the stuff that I got through my dependency, to now participate in the interdependent game, contributing to the human species, to what humans are supposed to do, to what the sons of God do, to what my father do. In fact, what maturity is, God develops you, you know, so first he reconnects you to Jesus back to make you, this is what Jesus is talking in John um, 
15.5, I am the vine, you are the branch. Whoever lies, lives in me, amen, and I in him, bears much fruit. If you stay dependent on me, you bear much fruit. You come to the full measure. In fact, in Ephesians, you go, I give you apostle, I give you prophet, to bring you to the full measure that you can become a independent, to, you understand, to be just like me. Mm. Not to go do your own thing. To do what our family do. Amen. You, you understand? You're not mature enough to help. Even when a baby comes out of his mother's womb, the baby still can't really help. But on a certain part, the baby's supposed to participate in the family business. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. say, this is what Jesus is saying. So we go from dependent, independence, interdependent. So Jesus said, okay, you've been cut off from me for a long time. Don't, I'm not surprised you don't bear no fruit. Or only death. You've been away from me. So now you're connected to me, you're going to start to bear lots of fruit. Because of the vital union of you, the branch, connected to the vine. So you must understand that mystery. I must stay connected to experience dependency you know, of its potency, is all knowing, omnificent, is all presence, is all awesome, is all every spiritual and physical ability. I know anytime I depart from God, I don't make people don't have to, people don't have to go like, man, that man used to be extraordinary. Now look at him. I know I'll diminish like this. Because I no longer have something to depend. And I know I'm not strong enough yet to what? Be independent. Also, if you go to inner interdependence before you can get to dependence, you typically will destroy yourself prematurely. Satan loves to make you do this thing. The child wants to go and do the family business, but the child didn't even get independence yet. The child can't brush their own teeth, they can't be their own skin, they can't keep the room clean, they can't handle their finance. But they're going to go to interdependence. Interdependence, I am now cooperated in the corporate outlook function of the business. By what means? You have to get dependence first. Independence first. You understand? You have to understand the process, the transition, and know where you are, which one you're dependent upon. Know where you're standing, how it works. So, Jesus said, remember, you need to come to dependency. Okay, I've been away a long time. He said, if you can stay in dependency, Trust, cling, rely on me. You will bear what? Much fruit. Much fruit. This is the first part you have to get. This is what John 15 verse 5. Amen? He said, but if you cut off from me, you can do nothing. Can you not? Why can't you do nothing? You haven't got to which state? Independence. You're not independent yet. My kids live with me. And once they live with me, they're able to function. But none of them is strong enough to be what? Apart yet. Or that you quickly see their life what? Diminish very quickly. I'm a son of God, but apart from God. You understand? Know in John 5, I think 26, Christ said, I have life and life in me. Mm -hmm. You've got the in, the, um, independent status. Mm -hmm. That's that simple. Amen? Look at verse 6 quickly. If a person does not dwell in dependence in me, he is thrown out like a broken off branch and wither. Such branches are gathered up and thrown into the fire, and they are burned. Because you, you keep, that branch is no longer good to get to independence. That branch will never be able to get to interdependence, to cooperate, um, participation of life. Hmm. Are you listening? Yeah. You're supposed to come to a point of strength, then you join the collective sons of God to help to do the Father vision, manage the planet, let it as it is in heaven be done on earth. But you have to get your citizenship, your independence, you understand? Settle down. You gotta get that fixed through dependence. Mm -hmm. You understand? Through your source. Mm -hmm. You have to get ripened first. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so when you understand this, Jesus is divine, you are the branch. Apart from him, you will never get to independence. You'll never get to the place. And remember, I wanted to be clear on independence. It doesn't mean I am free to do what I want. I'm 21, I can get drunk. I'm trying to want, I'm supposed to be getting to the point where I'm becoming responsible. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If your parents was going, you know what I'm saying? You're no longer in my tummy, I can get drunk and get high, then what happened? You will never get to what? Independence. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They have to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Same rule go along, mm -hmm. and so forth. Right? It's a, in him was life. In the vine, there was what? Life. Amen. Amen. And to, just to understand, let's read verse 3 so you understand what I'm talking about. All 
things were made came into existence through him who has life. Amen. Nothing cannot live unless the one who's created it has what? Life, creative ability, know-how. Are you listening to me? Mm. I can't create something or give you something if I don't have. You understand? Mm -hmm. If a woman doesn't have the potential to have a child, she can't bring four child, children. It doesn't work that way. You have to have the potential. You see, so it said, all things was made and came into existence through him that had life, amen, and without him that had life was nothing even, amen, not even one thing made that come into being. So without the one that have create creativity, you understand, potentiality, life, nothing can exist. You have to have it to give it. He has to have what? Independency. Without independency, he cannot do what? Nothing. He had all the ability. All oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You see, this is where God said, He's all potent. Amen? All omnificent. He don't need nobody to what? Exist. This is why He can be called God. He is fully independent of He don't need the air to breathe. He don't need human to survive. He don't need the heavens to survive. Mm -hmm. He is fully what? Independent. Mm -hmm. This is why He alone can be called what? God. Amen? He is fully independent of anyone or anything. Mm -hmm. It is where he's trying to bring you. There's only one person you will never be independent, um, um, not, not be dependent, dependent upon, is who? God. Mm -hmm. God wants to bring you into a status of independence only depending on one person. Mm -hmm. Him. Now why are you only going to depend on him? Is your source. Amen. You can't separate from your source. So you must be independent of everything else, but you don't become independent. You understand? You see? It, it, on your source. Because you come from your source. Mm -hmm. But you want everything else. You understand? You to survive without. And to be effective without. <laughs> you, you, you see what I'm saying? Amen. Yeah. Nothing was created without the one that is independent of everything. You, you see? Nothing was. So it went down the same verse 3. In him was life. So in this independent being there was life. Mm. And the life was the light of man. Yes. So the only time you have light where your life can be seen, and like as you know in Hebrew mean knowledge, is when the life of Christ, the independent being, is in you. Amen. So go back now, try to tie the scriptures together. John 15 verse 5. You understand? You need this vital union with me so you can bear fruit. Why do you need a vital union? What do you need from him? Life. Understand, mm -hmm. or you won't bear, you won't produce, you'll never get to independence. Don't even talk about interdependence, the cooperate position of the species. Okay. Uh, can you understand, or am I losing you? Can, can you see what I'm speaking now? You see, I'm trying to lead you to what I can see. He said, In him, this independent being was life, and this life is the light of man, it is the knowledge, it is what man be alive. So Christ said, Unite back with me the life. Stay in vital union so you can have light, knowledge, life to be effective, to become independent. Are you listening to me? Amen. The whole purpose why he wants you reconnected is so you can have life to become independent. Amen. He wants that you tell the fruit, stay connected to me in this vital relationship till you are right in all the substance. That when I do plant you, then your life will what? Ignite. Amen. And then you will produce more what? Life. Mm -hmm. And very soon it becomes an archer. Mm -hmm. The whole world starts to get healed and fixed. Yes. Yes. Can you follow me or am I losing? Yes. Yes. yes, you must understand. So you have to understand his, his intention in, in John 15 verse 5. And you have to understand his function in John 1, you understand? Verse 3 and 4 is the function. You, you understand? The position is in John 15 verse 5 and 6. The function is in John 1 verse 3 and 4. Can you follow me quickly? I know I'm going a little fast, but I want you to catch it. So, you need this vital union. Why? To bear what? Fruits. Come now, come now. I'm not, I don't want to just preach to you. I'm, I'm, let, let's fellowship now. Okay. The vital union allows you to bear what? Fruits. Fruits. Yes. John, let's jump back now. John 1, verse 3 and 4. You're an independent being who has life, and this life is the life and light of what? Man. So, if man get connected to this life and light, he then start to produce because he has life and suddenly have light understanding how to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm.
Before, I was saying before, before this being, this independent being, there was nothing. But this independent being of light that allows him to create, knows how to create and do everything. So if you get it, what do you think it makes you do? The same thing. This is why the, the tree goes to the fruit. Stay. You need to stay and observe all my DNA so then you can reproduce what I can do. Amen. Source, transfer true dependency to make you what? Independent. This is what the Bible says, to be made in God's image, to be a duplicate, a replica of the, of the, of the tree. Can you understand? Yes. Satan's job was simple. Separate him and kind of do ingraftation. Recreate the species. I know he does that. In truth, he can't do it. But he, he can reprogram your mind to make your mind work in complete opposition to your dependency. Do you understand what I'm saying? The fruit belief, it depends on the water mm -hmm. instead of the tree. So it's not trying to get the vital union. Mm -hmm. So they fruit never get life, never get light. Can you follow me? Mm -hmm. Quickly. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, if this all come together properly, as it's supposed to in the church, mm -hmm. God ecclesia or ecclesia, which meaning, you understand, it's that which came from him, is reconnection to dependency and growing up into what? Independency. To start to participate in interdependence. Mm -hmm. Can you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or am I losing you? Know? Come on. We have to wake up our, our sleepy self. Paul said in Hebrews, by now you should be teachers, teaching others. You need people to teach you. Which means you still don't see it. You just come to church. And Pastor, preach to me. I don't need to understand anything. <laughs> no, you have to understand everything. In fact, I'm not... In fact, I'm telling you the truth. I don't want to listen to me if you don't, if you don't try to understand. Because I don't want your blood on my hand. I want you to try to comprehend. If you don't get it, get myself, get my son, and go, can you explain what Pastor Fraser is trying to, 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 to transmit? You, 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 it's the reason why we do, why we do um, summaries and video. I always want to make sure you're clear on what you're supposed to do and how it works. Now let's assume you're, you, 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 you have true dependency, get to independence, and, and you're trying to transition now into interdependence, cooperating in what the species was created to be. If you stay united with it, in his life there is light. Part of the substance that helps you to come to independence, you writing, is the ability to do it. I didn't know how to do all this. It's his life allowed me to understand this. Part of the program in his life is to understand and how to apply it. This all is in his life. Can you remember? If you read verse 3, in this independent being, before him there was nothing. Yes, through him everything was created, manifest. So he has all this creative, intelligent wisdom, but everything is in him, and everything is in his life. Amen. You know, yeah, some of you, and you are in the medical field, you might even do it. Sometimes a, a person, blood cells, their immune system is too weak. Mm -hmm. So they can do a blood transfusion and put a more powerful blood, you understand? That will make the immune system what? Kicks it. It's all of a sudden they have a blood, a blood type or something that is strong enough to what? Start to fend off. Mm. In Christ's life, have everything you need to get to independence. Amen. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. But without this life, you will lack many things. Strength, wisdom, understanding, mm. truth, right? You will lack so much. Transformation. Transformation. You simply won't have the life. Let me imagine, I want, um, I'll call it Doof. There's another name for it. Um, Help me here. What if I don't want a fruit to get ripened? So I'm going to pick it early. We do it like with bananas and things. What do you call this thing? Force ripe. Force ripe. It's called force ripe. It's not, you don't have all the abilities yet. This was Adam. You understand? Meaning you're forcing them to independence before they're what? Ready for it. Mm. We call it in the West Indies force ripe. If I don't want a fruit to naturally ripen on the tree, banana naturally ripen. Banana is green. But if you leave it on the tree, it becomes what? Yellow. Yellow. If we don't want this, what we'll do is pick it from the tree. It will also go yellow eventually. Yes. But it tastes completely different. Yes. It's called, it is forced to come to independency without what? Nice. The nutrients. Mm -hmm. Without dependency. Mm -hmm. That's what we get. It tastes, yes. So the, the, the bean or the species or the move become dwarf, short circuit, dysfunctional, mm -hmm. limited. That's exactly what Satan did. Adam didn't fully grown up yet. He needed to stay dependent until he get to what? Independent. The Bible said Christ grow and become strong 
and grow in wisdom in the presence of God is stay connected to source through dependency till you get to what? Independent. Till eventually you can go to John 5. I have life in me. I'm self-existent. You got the life in me allows me to be what? Self-existent. This is independence. Amen? You, you, so you, you, you need to understand th this transition. If not, what will happen? Amen? Welcome, my brother and sister. You will come to the point, but you will not be able to be effective. You are forced right. You are due off. You are ineffective. This was, this was Satan's simple plan with Adam and Eve. He's still doing it today. How does Satan destroy a child or a family? He seduces, he tempts the child to move away from that which it depends upon. You understand? Make it, you understand? Back up and say you're playing big man, but you're still a child. Make them go to independence level, but they didn't get all the nutrients you know, that is necessary to make someone say, you are now independent. Mm -hmm. You see, they didn't get to the point where Jesus said, independence, you're supposed to say like Jesus, I have life within me, I'm self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. All the things I need from the source is now what? In me. Well, then, if I'm so self-sustaining, why do I keep then, through interdependence, you know, doing what the source wants? Mm -hmm. Gratitude. Mm -hmm. Without the source, I would have never get the what? Independence. Mm -hmm. Yes. If not, it's called, what do I call it? Ungrateful. It's called Jeshurun in the Bible. What did Jeshurun do? The Bible said Jeshurun used God and got to what? Independence, then turned his back what? Mm -hmm. On God. He said, use God to become fat. Then he turned his back. God, God so loved man, and he has confidence beyond me. God is trying to raise you guys up to independence. And he has full confidence you will stay with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't say it and turn it. Hmm. An independent be. You see, yet God will not, I guess he's so confident in what he made us, that he knows you have no other choice really, but to do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You see, so you, so you have to understand this process. So, so, so let's assume, as I said, from John 15, verse 5 and 6, through the union with the vine, you are postured now to get bear much fruit, but you're not ready yet. You still have to be what? Ripen. Mm -hmm. Before you go from dependency into independence, you must get everything you need through dependency. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Now let's assume you get there through the life, understand, John 1, verse 3 and 4, through this life, you get all the knowledge and the light and the strength. That you could say, like Christ, I have life that makes me self-sustaining. Now you're ready to go to interdependence, to participate in the family business, in the species. Purpose, the purpose of the species. What must an independent be, and I'm speaking to the church now, the ecclesia of Christ, Ezekiel chapter 47, 1 to 12, verse 1 to 12, what does... An independent being, a being that has self-sustaining life, a being that comes to maturity through dependency, do. What does God do? What does its source do? How do you participate in that? What does this life in Christ that gives you life does? Quick. There's an angel leading Ezekiel around the temple. Look what it said. Then he, my guide, brought me, amen, again to the door of the house of the Lord, the temple. And behold, water issue out from under the, amen, the threshold of the temple, towards the east, from the front of the temple, amen, was towards the east, and the water came down from under, from the right side of the temple, on the south side of the altar. Then he brought me out by way of the north gate and led me around outside to the outer gate by the ways that face east. And behold, waters, amen, mm -hmm. waters were running out yes. on the right side. Verse 3, mm. and when the man went on eastward with the measuring line, mm. in his hand he measured a thousand cubits. Yes. And he caused me to pass through mm. the waters, waters that were ankle deep. Mm. So now water was flowing from out of the temple. And then the angel tells Ezekiel, after he measured a thousand cubits, walk through the water. And the water was up to the ankle. Yes. Say in measures. measures. Yes. Say, my life, my life. And, my light. and my light happens in measure. Happens in measure. A, a fruit, a fruit. Mature. mature. And then ripen in, in measures. In measures. In measures. Thank you, Force ripe is this. You don't understand process. 
You're not ready to come off the tree. But you go, I want independence. But you greatly still need what? Dependence. Dependence. Mm -hmm. You don't have enough light and life. The water is only at your ankle. Mm. You see, the fruit have just passed through bud. Mm. It still needs a lot of time yet. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Mm. Verse 4. And again he measured a thousand cubits mm. and caused me to pass through the waters. Waters that reach to the knees. Again the measure a thousand cubits mm. and caused me to pass through the waters, waters that reach to the loins. Notice, it's getting higher, stronger, yes. more independent. Mm -hmm. It said now in verse 5, Afterwards he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass through, for the waters had risen water to swim in, a river that could not be passed over or through. So the water started to his ankle, and then he get to the knees and get to the loin, and all of a sudden the water is so high it becomes a river that Ezekiel can't pass through or go over. Are you listening? Yes. Do you know it's how everything started one big river? Mm. And it's how streams start. Mm -hmm. Amen? That eventually become rivers too. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that you see, this is process. That's how when you unite with Christ, mm. you see, he don't push you into independence until... You have enough life. Till the water get to your ankle, the water get to your knees, the water get to your line. You see, till the life and the light, you understand, is coming out so much over you that it's like a river. I have a sister, she calls me Bible on tap. <laughs> Bible on tap. Why? The waters are flowing out. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. But you have to stay vitally united with Christ <laughs> until the water get to your and become a river in your life. Hallelujah. Until the life and the light of Christ dominate in your life. life. Amen. Now once you start to dominate, see what happens. What happens? Let's continue. Then. Let's see what happens. So you become a river and you can't pass over. Verse 5 and verse 6. Eh? And he said to me, son of man, have you seen this? Can you now see you are ready for independence? Yes. Can you now see you are ready for independence? True dependency. Mm. You know, letting the water flow through you, the nutrients, mm. you're not forced right or do off, mm. you're not ready. Amen. Then he led me and caused me to return to the banks mm. of the river. Now when I had returned, behold, on the bank of the river were very many trees on one side and on the other. Mm. Then he said to me, these waters pour out towards the eastern region. And go down into the Arab, in the Jordan Valley, yes. and unto the Dead Sea. Mm. And when they shall enter into the sea, amen, the sea, amen, of putrid water, the water shall be healed and made fresh. Mm. Amen. When you are mature, true Christ, mm. this is why Christ M of his coat, the water was so high that when someone touched the M of his coat, they were what? Healed. Yes, yes. That when someone touched Peter's shadow, they were healed. When someone touched Paul and kerchief, they were healed. Why? Because the water had raised. Yes. The water had raised. The purpose of you staying united with Christ so you get life and light mm -hmm. is that every dead area in your life be what? Healed. Mm -hmm. Your spirit, your soul, your body, your finance, your family, your relationship. And anywhere in this water, he leads you, anything you touch becomes what? Healed. Restored. Anything that becomes contaminated, gets lack of dependency, gets you know what I'm reunited, healed. Yes. Amen. A Christian life is supposed to be a river flowing, staying healthy. You understand? The Bible call it you understand? sanctification. Yes. One must keep himself from becoming contaminated and healing everyone and everything that they want. Around touch. Them. Through the spirit, the water that's flowing through them. Mm -hmm. When a lot of times, why we can't do it, the water is too what? Low. Low. It's at ankle level. Mm -hmm. And you go to, so you go to an orchard and you go, I have come. I'm an independent bee. I'm going to make all of these trees grow. Mm -hmm. But you only have water to what? Yeah. Your ankle. Mm -hmm. You can't even keep yourself. <laughs> you still don't have life enough to sustain you. You need more water than that. Because you're facing the sun and the elements. Your water needs to become. You see, if you kept, you see, 
I tell the truth. I don't know you guys came from the Bible of this church. It took me a while to understand what church is supposed to do. Any church you, and I don't care whether it's this church or any church, any church you have that's preaching Jesus heavily, I'm telling you, stay with that church. Why? Now you have an opportunity to grow up and let the water up. Right. right. But just don't go and hear them preach. Go to get the word. Amen. So you, the water can rise. Yes. So it can heal every aspect of your life, life and Amen. other life. Yes. Amen. Are you listening? Yes. Amen. Let's continue quickly. So this water is going to heal. Any way this water touch, the dead sea it's going to heal. Verse 9 said, just a couple of verse. And whenever the double river shall go, amen, every living creature, which one, shall live. And there shall be very great numbers of fish, because these waters go there, that the waters of the sea may be healed and made fresh. And everything shall live wherever the river goes. When you get written, mm -hmm. everywhere you go, thing becomes functional. Yes. Hallelujah. Sometimes this bothers me. I find unbelievers catch this and not believers. Hmm. I have traveled to places and deal with people and they don't even understand. You're supposed to understand it because I explain it. And they go, I don't know. There's something different about you. Can we, can you put yourself in a bottle that I can keep you? When you are here, everything works. Yes. Why is it working? The water. It is the water. And, but this, they, they, they catches it. Mm. I find believers don't catch it. They don't understand to stay united with Christ. So the water can heal up everything. Mm. They just don't get it. They go, Christ is my Lord. Christ saved me. I worship him. What does that mean? I don't know. But we're just kind of there. Mm. And, and there's no expectation of the tree. There's no dependence. The Bible is why Christ specifically said, Claim, rely, depend on me. Why? Why does he want this? He has nothing better to do. For you. It's so you can come, the water can what? The nutrients can ripen. Hmm. He didn't have nothing better to, like he has nothing better to do. I'm going to just tell you, cling, rely. The Bible said, those that cling, rely, depend on me, streams of living water shall what? Flow. Flow. Hmm. You think he has nothing better? You think he doesn't know what he's talking about, those cute hmm. words? Hmm. There's a split. He wants you to go through dependency to get to what? Independence. Hmm. You, you see what I'm saying? To eventually get to interdependence where you are being the river that he uses to touch other people's lives. Amen. Amen? You know, sometimes, let's say I'm, I'm, I think I am too busy, etc. And I have to deal with someone. I say, well, I'm too busy. I don't want to deal with this. He goes, and I wonder how you got healed. <laughs> I suggest you participate in the interdependence. They need to be healed too. Quickly puts me in check. So the Bible said, verse 10. The fisherman shall stand on the banks of the Dead Sea, amen, from Angeli, amen, even to Antigone, shall be a place to spread nets. Their fish shall be of very many kinds, as the fish of the great or the Mediterranean Sea. Verse 11, but its swamps, amen, and marshes will not become wholesome for animal life. They shall, as the river subside, meaning withdraw, Amen? Be left encrusted with salt and given over. So the places where the water doesn't touch, mm. you understand? Doesn't get what? Healed. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you, if you don't stay united to Christ and the water don't get to your knee and to your loins and become a river in your life, your life don't become what? Healed. <laughs> it is very possible for the water to get to your ankle. Your roots are functioning. Mm. But your trunk and your branch and your fruits are what? Not. Mm. In fact, I know a lot of people this way. They are saved, but their life still what? Dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Why? The water's in what? Right. And why? They are breaking what? Dependency. Mm. You must understand what dependency produces. Independence. But I must stay. You see, I must stay. The fruit must stay on the tree. Mm -hmm. And observe all the substance till it becomes what? Right. right. Mm -hmm. There'll be a natural order. He pushes you up. Out. Yes. You can't go. You know, I will flow you now to the sea. Mm. Mm, mm, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry when to go. He'll send you. He's good at it. Mm -hmm. He's excellent at it, actually. Mm -hmm. Your job is to stay. Stay rooted. Mm -hmm. Till the fruit become what? Right. Mm -hmm. Amen? Let's read the last. I think we have one, two, two, one last verse, right? Yes. yes. Verse 12. Pay close attention. 
and on the banks of the river on both its side. They shall grow all kind of trees for food. Mm. Amen? Can the water has risen, become a river. Yes. Their leaves shall not fade, nor shall their fruits fail to meet the demand. When the water is come up all the way, you are able to meet every demand in your life. life. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Each tree shall bring forth new fruit every what? Month. Month. Now pay close attention. These supernatural qualities being because, said because, because. said there's a cause. There's a cause. Their water came from out of the sanctuary. Amen. So all of these chains, the Dead Sea, if you know anything about the Dead Sea, nothing. Why is it called a Dead Sea? Nothing can or ever grows. But God said, when my water that comes out of my sanctuary touches it, it shall heal what? The water. Satan's technique was very simple on man. I'll make man into a dead sea. His spirit won't work. His soul won't work. His body won't work. Therefore, his life guarantee will not work. What God created will die. Mm -hmm. So he made the human species become what? A dead sea. Mm -hmm. Most of what we celebrate is the dead. Mm -hmm. Does it surprise you man celebrate the day of the dead? Why shouldn't he? He, he lives in the dead realms. So you put like a name to it. You go, we should celebrate Halloween, the day of, you know, where we honor it, we are all dead. So they live and don't participate in it. People like me and those of the church of us go, no, I am no longer dead. I ain't doing no Halloween. Are you crazy? <laughs> we celebrate the day of the what? <laughs> Living. When Christ was resurrected. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. Because all of the human species, because of Adam, became what? The Dead Sea. There was no water to heal it. The woman can't touch his hand. The cripples can't walk. The lake of Bethesda in flowing. Sites are not being restored. Prisoners are not being set free. Amen? It's, man is just in, in, encased in, in debt. He, he depends on debt, actually. Can I pass my dime to you? Dying here is cancer. I, bar I have cancer, so let me give it to my children and give it to my friend. I have AIDS, let me give you AIDS. You know, I have this. We just pass death around. That's all man has been doing. Until the sanctuary. Man of a sanctuary now. He has a place, he, this is where Christ will come to me. Take my water. My water shall heal you. Christ tell Peter, Peter, 